Hi guys, in this PowerPoint tutorial, we are going to learn how to make this cool slide transition on any PowerPoint version. Before we begin the tutorial, here are some presentation details that will guide you in recreating this exact presentation. You can always refer to these details whenever in doubt. All right, let's start by creating the infographic slide. So inside a rectangle, duplicate three times and ensure the rectangles are right next to each other. Select all the rectangles, then group. Drag the grouped rectangles to fit the slide. Ungroup, remove the outline, then change the colors of the rectangles to colors of your choice. Let's insert some text. I'll just paste text from the clipboard. The font in use for this tutorial is the Gotham Family font. Let me just drag this to the left for now. Now let's insert icons. I'll insert my icons directly from PowerPoint, but you can always use icons from external sources. I'm going to be using this bulb icon. Increase the dimension. Also change the color to white. Let me drag this to the top a little. Align the icon with the text. Group the text and the icon. Then align the grouped object with the rectangle. Now duplicate the grouped object. Then align with the second rectangle. Now just hit Ctrl D twice to duplicate the grouped object with equal spaces in between. Let's change the numbers. Select all objects, then ungroup to get the individual elements. We can also switch the icons to any icons of our choice. Okay, let's also enhance the visual appearance of these text and icons by changing the fill color to a gradient fill. Follow closely. For my exact color codes, see the presentation details. Let's match the first gradient stop to the color of the rectangles. Now let's repeat the same for the icons. So select all the icons, add to the format options. You will notice that the gradient fill option is grayed out, meaning we can't apply gradient fills directly to vector graphics. So let's first convert them to shapes. Next, ungroup to get the individual elements. Then unite the elements together to get the single shapes. Since these objects are now shapes, we can simply apply gradient fields to them. By default, PowerPoint applies the last use gradient format style. So for consistency, let's match the gradient of the shapes with the text by changing the color of the first gradient stop to the color of the rectangle to give the shapes that fade out look. Obviously, this is just my preference. You can always design the objects however you please. Okay, we are done with the slide design. Let's group these objects. Open the selection pane. For easy navigation, I always advise naming objects properly. Also, reorder the objects properly. This is important to get the desired animations. Now, let me show you how to create the slide animation scene at the start of the video for most PowerPoint versions. First, let's duplicate the slide. We'll be using this further in the tutorial. Head back to the first slide. Select all the objects, head to the animations tab, then select a flying animation. 
direction from the left, add the flyout animation, direction to the left. Open the animation pane, select all the animations, increase the duration of the animation, enter the effect option, add a smooth start and a smooth end. Next, inside a rectangle to cover the slide. Select all the animations, then trigger on click of the rectangle. Next, insert a text box to use as a title for your presentation. Align the text box on the slide. Now let's animate the text box. Add a fade out animation. Then add a fade in animation. Add to the animation pane. Then reorder the text box animations. Just like this. Next, send the text box to the back. Then make the rectangle invisible by increasing the transparency by 100% and removing the outline. Lastly, change the background color. All right, let's give it a preview. As you can see, the cursor is clickable in all areas of the screen. So click to get the entrance animation, then click again to get the exit animation. Repeat the click to get the entrance and exit animations. So that's one way to achieve this animation. The other way, which is the simplest way to do this, is with the morph transition available in the more recent versions of PowerPoint. So let's explore how to do that. Head to the second slide, change the background color, duplicate the slide. On the first slide, align all the grouped objects to the left of the slide so that they are aligned on top of each other. Then drag all the objects out of the slide. Let's also add a title. I'll just copy from the previous slide. Ensure the text box has no animations. Now select both slides, then apply the morph transition. You can also reduce the duration of the effect. It's as simple as that. So that's how to achieve this entrance and exit animation in any PowerPoint version. If you find this tutorial helpful, kindly leave a like, comment, and share it with your friends as it helps the channel. Thanks for your support. Also, you can download these templates and access my detailed PowerPoint course. The links are in the description. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.